Hi, I'm Shannon from Mirror Geoscience. This month's tip will show you how to bring structural data into the StereoNet tool, set up and display options, and select structural families. The tool is accessed from the application toolbar. Data can be imported into the StereoNet from an external ASCII file or, like in this example, from an existing GoCAD object. You need to select your object, the input type, typically two angles, whether the data represents linear or planar structures, and how your data is noted. In this example, since we have strike and dip data, we select US. As you can see, all the data is displayed by default. Setting the StereoNet display options is done in the Settings tab. You can, for example, turn off Polar View and change the data selection method. If there are regions on the source data, they will be listed and can be viewed individually. Data density can be displayed using the density toolbar. Average pole and great circle can be shown on highlighted displayed regions. And pole and great circle orientations can be determined by right-clicking on a point. Multiple regions can be shown at once. Structural families will allow you to link features you see in the StereoNet with their actual location in the 3D viewer. Create a new family and, using the selection tool, choose points and add them to the family. Finally, the Export Family as Region dialog box will export the region into the 3D viewer. Don't forget to save your session before closing the StereoNet. That way you can return to it at a later time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact support at mirrorgeoscience.com.